I dropped my phone, and when I picked it up, I realized that the screen was completely black. I moved the vibrate button up and down, and I could feel it vibrate, so I knew the phone was on. I did several things to try to get the phone back to a working condition, but didn't have any luck. I used my friend's phone while we hit the road to see if anyone had a solution to this. This was a terrible time to have this happen. Not only do I use my phone for GPS, but it's also reassuring to have a phone in case of an emergency. I called Apple to see if they had a solution for me. They gave me a few suggestions, but they didn't work. My problem was that I didn't have insurance on my phone, and it was $100 to replace this 4GS or $200 to upgrade to the 5. Both of these options were something I did not want to do because it would still be several days before I had a working phone. So I realized I needed to do some troubleshooting. This isn't going to be a solution to everyone's problem, but I searched and searched for a solution and couldn't find one. So hopefully this will help you save a few hundred bucks. With a very small screwdriver, unscrew both the screws at the base of the phone. The screws are very small. Here they are next to a wasabi pea. Mmm, wasabi peas are very good. Once you have both the screws removed, use your fingers and press the back of the case up. Once the back cover is slid up, it should pop right off the back of the case. The big black thing is the battery, which really isn't that hard to replace. Right underneath this silver plate is where the battery connects to the phone. I dropped the phone, but the screen wasn't broke or cracked, so I thought, could this be something as simple as a cable coming loose? Well, underneath this silver plate is where the display connector actually connects into the circuit board. The shock of the phone dropping dislodged the connector and actually what I did is I just used my thumbs and I put a little bit of pressure and I pushed down and I heard a click and I thought no way was it really that simple? I was amazed. I couldn't believe I got it to work and that it was that simple and yet at the same time that of all the searching I've done, I hadn't seen the solution. So I was super pumped. I hope this helps you out. Um, you can dissect this a little bit further if you want to. And there's some great tutorials on ifixit.com that explain what everything is in the back of the iPhone. But I really hope this helps you out and saves you money.